right. So we were at the bell. We were indeed. So yeah, the bells are used to cleanse the energy of the space that you're in and things like that. So that's why bells are used. Um, they're also used as like wind chimes as well, as uh, Marla's got in the book here. Okay. Um, so they can be hung by doors and things like that to cleanse the energy of the house as well and the home and windows. Um, then you've also got Book of Shadows. Yes, um, we've spoken about that one. We've spoken about, yeah. That's also um, sometimes referred to as a grimoire. Grimoire, yeah. And they're yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're basically used um, to keep a record of practices. Um, I didn't know until I well, wide. I've probably read it in the past that you'd normally copy down from your your mentor's book of shadows. Whereas because I've never been in a coven, I've always been a hedge witch, so I've started from scratch and it's more of a record of my own magical practices, spells that I've done, what I've included in them, and you put all the details in there so you have a record for your own um, knowledge to look back on. Like I, I said, there are more types of witches. Uh, there's the green witch, there's the um, garden witch or the air witch. Uh, it, it all uh, signifies to a sort of element and you've got witches that just want to witch alone or in a coven. Yeah. And every coven is different as well. Um, whilst I was preparing for uh, the books to come, I've been looking on YouTube um, about history on the witches and it is quite amazing. Um, there have been quite some renowned witches um, because obviously uh, due to the her her the murders in the how do you call it heresy the heresy um, it's been dormant for centuries or behind closed doors and um, in uh, 1920 or something uh, a man started uh, up and he became quite um, renowned and his wife and then it's, it went dead again until after the war, 1956 or 57. And then an other uh, couple, uh, lady started up and joined up with uh, the man from the first, because he lost his wife. And um, they separated after 25, 30 years or something like that, I think. And then she started her own coven. So they are, are and they take their own uh, idealists, idealistic uh, ideas and teachings with them and they have improved them. So it is passed down from uh, somebody in 1920 that took the old works and um, the witches uh, thought um, bad of it because they wanted to keep a secret because of what happened in the 14th, 15th century. Um, but this man, I'll, I'll know it for the next time, um, has brought it back to life. And there is competition between the covens. Yeah. A lot of people have kind of stayed in the broom closet. Yes. In a way, um, because it's, it's not felt safe to openly talk about it. Talk about it, tell anyone that that's what you follow. Um, I remember even as a child, I'd keep it to myself and teenager growing up. It Must was being difficult whilst you're a teenager. It was OK with my mum because my mum was very open to those sorts of things. So but I could only talk to my mum about it. I couldn't talk to my friends or anything like that. So there was well, a bit of a, a disconnect. Yeah, like um, I said, my mum has the gift or had the gift. And she never told me about it. And once I found out what it was, because she told me, I started to develop, but she didn't never talk to me about it. She was scared of it. Okay. Yeah, my, my mom's quite open to discussing things like that and kind of always has been. She was on everything else, but not on witchcraft. or witchcraft, paranormal, uh, psychic stuff. 
I think that I most probably would have, I, 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 on my travels, on my path of growing to where I'm now, um, uh, I, that's how I got in, got to know from witchcraft that I lived in the island Jersey and they still practice witchcraft there and you've got the black witch and the white witch which Marla says uh, it doesn't really matter yeah it's, the, she doesn't believe in that no, but, it's about your intent and your energy yeah. and how you what so you, you want to do. in pureness with a pure heart and good intention yeah. um yeah uh, but you know everybody believes differently but oh. it's i'm glad it's out in the open because it does help there's good stuff in it yeah everything it's got its shadow side and good side yeah, of course it does. we've got the bees and, and the broom here and that is basically to clean out the house and sweep out the old and <clears throat> um, so that we can bring in the new isn't it yeah yeah it's to clear your your sacred space of negative energy um, obviously it's not used for cleaning no uh, and that's what we, we, did, we did discuss this wendy and i and <laughs> she's got a big broom but you've got your own made brooms haven't you yeah i've just got small ones which are a nice little size i don't know how well you can see those ah uh, yeah very well but they're, they're they're small enough so that you can keep them out of the way in your sacred space but they're big enough to get the job done do you do you um how do you use it do you brush the uh the pentagram with it like you do the shape of the pentagram you you brush the whole area so you can if you want depending on what energy whether you were uh, see I'm, I'm rambling now but bear with me um if you were getting rid of negative energy then you'd go in a counterclockwise um direction when you're going round and if you and were do you sweep the floor then or do you just do it symbolically you can just do it symbolically it's more about removing the negative energy than actually physically removing anything okay for those okay and then we've got the cauldron cauldrons yep cauldrons are which is well known for having their cauldrons um but as, as long as you've got something that is the old milk pan <laughs> yeah i was gonna say as long as you've got something that's significant to you that you don't use for anything else it doesn't have to be like a traditional cauldron cauldron it can be literally anything as long as it's only for magical use yeah so basically it, all the tools have to just stay clean uh for magical use yeah because otherwise the energy gets muddled up okay as to what well, we're using them for. That's, that's a lot like uh me being the channel the vessel or the chalice or the cauldron uh, if I'm uh, in uh, a reading one on one is much better than when I'm doing a life and I've got all these energies around me because they come in it's like yeah. sometimes like poltergeist you know when all the spirits came and then travel up the stairs and through the door yeah That's, sometimes I just see that happening here yeah you so get much different, yeah you get different readings as so i've done it twice that i've gone into my psyche and passed uh, talked to the 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 people that came in and some energies are stronger than other energies and the like i the, i've got a woman and she's got a specific and it just jumps out i can't explain it and she specifically has a very strong message and I'm busy with the, the, the person in the live chat. Yes. And you can just hear, you know, as if they're going, oh my God, my, that's my mum. Yeah. You know? And that's when you get all the shivers and the chicken goosebumps, you know that you're on the right frequency. Yeah. So, and if you've got a lot of energy, then you can't give strong messages out. Uh, yeah. 
Um, so I, I still think it's quite magical that they work with me or through me in the live sessions. There are people that are scared, or they don't understand the digital. No, no that's, that's lovely. And it's very true for the, the cauldron as well, the way that you describe it. Magic. Already with the magical tools. It's, the, it is like keeping your toothbrush to yourself in, the, in, in that cup when you're living with a family. Yeah. Then we've got the Starful Wand. Now that's not only for ritual, uh, rituals I take, it is also for when you're doing healing to rub over symbolically over somebody. Yes, so I use crystal ones like these ones. Um, they also come double pointed as well. Um, to which Why channel? Double pointed? Sorry? Why double pointed? Because it's, it focuses the energy in two different ways, so it could be funneled through. So um, where would the energy come in? In the centre or in one point and then through to the other point? Normally one point and then out the other end, unless you're using it as a connector, in which case you would have one crystal at one end and then it would channel that, that through, so you'd be blending the energy of the crystal through into this crystal and then out into the patient because you can also use it so that it's laying down rather than actually being pointed at someone. Um, and with this one, it's also great if you want to give yourself a little facial. It's great as a massage tool. Yeah, from life and soul. <laughs> yeah, because of it being rounded, you can use it for that as nice. well. Um, as well as obviously the energy going through and then coming out of the point. Um, so yeah, those I would use in healing, um, but you can also get all sorts of ones that you can use in your magical practices, um, which vary in different things. You can make them yourself. Um, they're quite often made out of different sorts of woods, um, such as willow and uh, rowan is the other ones, very popular in the pagan community. Um, you can put crystals on it and they can also be made out of clay and then they'd have a crystal at one end and then you'd have your handle which would be decorated. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different and they're, they're personal to each person once again as well. Wendy said she was going to make a staff and a, a wand, so I'll be um, excited to see uh, whether she succeeded in doing that. Yeah, oh, that would be brilliant. Well, that is about it. Next, and then we've got rituals, um, but we'll leave that for next week. And then we can discuss how to raise the energy, sorry, raising energy, how you raise energy and why you have to raise energy and perhaps um, do a meditation do your meditation and and that's also raising energy i've already yeah. dropped the word sorry <laughs> it's all right <laughs> and then spells we go into spells and we might actually do a spell okay uh, if you choose one i will choose one and then i'll see whether i can do the spell so after i've seen you doing it and we might just do uh the stones or something else i'll let you know yeah okay sounds good thank you very much for working with me georgina all right uh, as always uh, have a brilliant weekend are you going live this weekend uh no not this not this weekend it'll be next weekend depending on when this is going up. OK, well, this will this one will most probably be going up. Uh, uh, well, anyway, take care. God bless and Thank have you. a beautiful weekend. Sorry. That's all right.